a lot of y'all, women specifically, I think is who I'm talking to right now. A lot of you have friends, right? And some of you have guy friends. And you talk to your friends and your guy friends about stuff going on in your world, in your life, some person in your life. And oftentimes you get a very sugar-coated version of what it is that, you know, you're asking of them. A lot of times, you know, it, it, it it's human nature to not want to, like, offend our friends or, you know, like, cause any kind of rift in a friendship or anything like that. So things are worded carefully and like exaggerated or minuted. So I don't feel like that really accomplishes a whole lot. I don't know how y'all feel, but I'm a very like blunt person. I'm a very honest person. And I feel I get the most value out of something when the people I'm talking to are being very honest with me. <laughs> like whatever it is that the topic is, I ask you guys how you feel about videos. And I mean, it's usually positive, but sometimes it's not. And when it isn't, all right, if it if what you're saying has merit, I take it into account and then, you know, maybe apply it into the next thing I got going on, you know? But I can't do that if you guys aren't honest with me, right? So I want to be very, very honest with all of you. Y'all can come to me, talk to me, Yashi. That's what my people call me. <laughs> Yashi, y'all know my real name is Joshua. But y'all can come to me and I'll talk to y'all. And I'm gonna give you the 100% real. All the time, every time, guaranteed. And I think that that's the best way to help. Cause what I'm really, I'm really trying to help, you know? And also, I mean, like I said, I know that there's a lot of people that really don't have somebody who will be, you know, very honest with them and truthful with them. And not because of not caring about their feelings, but because they do care. Because they do want to see you grow. And, and because they know that there is no growth in comfortability. You know what I mean? Like, you work out, you get uncomfortable, you're in pain, you know what I mean? So that you can get healthier and stronger, you know? That's the benefits of being uncomfortable. There, you know, you can stay comfortable, but then nothing changes, you know, because you're in your comfort zone. You're where you, you, you stay where you are, you know. I don't want that though, and I don't want that for myself. So I definitely don't want that for y'all. <laughs> so yeah, we gonna have this going on, and I mean that for real. I want to interact. What was that? You want to talk about something? What you want to talk about? You got, you got a boyfriend you're dealing with right now, huh? Yeah, you're probably like a lot of women watching right now. <laughs> no, that's very cool. Good for you. Is it good for you? Okay. I have your problems. Okay. Anything you want to talk about in particular? Right. Okay. And you think that So so let me get this right. Your boyfriend has girl female friends and you are not comfortable with this? <laughs> Cuz what you sound it just makes it seem like oh you're you're not really. Okay. That's honest. That's cool. I mean, well, I say it's cool because if it's acknowledged, then it's got to be cool, right? Like, it can't be... <laughs> Hang on a second. You can't mess with the microphone. You can't mess with the microphone. Everybody wants to be a part of what's going on all the time. So, I was saying... Has he done anything wrong that you know of? Has he, has he ever cheated on you? Okay. Are you guys actually together or are you dating? There's a difference. 
Okay, we daily. That's cool. Totally cool. And you feel like it's going well? Well, you... Oh, that's the issue. It's going well and you like him, but he has female friends and they make you uncomfortable. But you can't really bring it up <laughs> because y'all aren't an official couple yet. Am I picking up on this, right? Okay, all right, I got you. I got you. I like, yeah, I mean, I do like peanuts, by the way. <laughs> that's what you were getting ready to ask. But, um, no, that's, it's an understandable situation. So, I mean, have you said anything about it? Okay. Okay. Well, here's how I feel about that. If he had those friends when you met him, and they've been friends, you know, throughout this time, then you can't really be upset at that. I mean, especially if, you know, especially if, you know, y'all aren't in a anything verbally committed or like, you know, mutually monogamous. And, you know, you don't even know that he's, you know, even interested in doing anything with any of the girls, right? Well, if he is, and that makes you uncomfortable, this is probably something that you should talk to him about. Now, I know this is like where it gets kind of iffy with a lot of people in general, but, you know, I, I think definitely women because, you know, you're going to, you think, first of all, you, you know, you may not want to like put yourself out there, you know, you don't want to get rejected or hurt or, you know what I mean? And, and so rather than risk that happening, you, you stay where you are in a, like in your mind, kind of, you know, in a fragile place. <laughs> The thing that solves it is communication, you know? And if he's a real man, yo, he he'll he'll communicate the truth to you. Like if you you know, if you ask me anything, rather I think that it's something that you want to hear or not, I am always gonna just speak the truth. Because if it's something that you don't like and it's something that I'm not willing to change then we have a conflict. And that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with either of us. It doesn't mean that there's a bad thing coming from either side. It just means that the energies aren't coinciding. They they conflict. And that could be a problem. But it, just don't, don't go into it with a negative mind, you know? Like, go into it expecting positive things. Because positive things are going to come from it no matter what. If you're coming from a good and genuine place, if you go and tell the person that you're interested in you know I know it's not really my place because we're not together but I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling you and I just I want to be you know totally honest about that I'm not sure if, if how do you feel about that <laughs> you know that's where the harmony comes from when there are harmonious energies on both sides you want the same things it's a whole other world when energies are harmonious it is going to be hugely beneficial if you talk to them. I definitely want y'all to know, my friends, that you can talk to me about anything and I'm gonna answer, you know? So let's do that and let's, let's keep that going, all right? Shoot up the comments with whatever it is that you want to talk about. We'll talk about it in the comments and then maybe I'll bring it up in the next video.